Hey, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to have uh, multiple versions of your app installed simultaneously. First, I'm gonna start with the debug release, and then I have some really exciting stuff. So stay tuned. So if you have debug version installed and uh, try to install an app from the Play Store, if you release the app already to the Play Store, it will uh, just open the debug app because. Uh, by default you can have only one version installed and you can simply change it just by opening the build.gradle file and going to build types declare debug and add application application id suffix dot debug let's sync the project Okay, so I have my debug app installed, just a sample app from my library. And let's check the application ID. Yeah, and as you see, the application ID is com.myhexavillerecycler.debug. And now let's uh, try to install the release version. I have it uh, built already. Okay, now I have uh, two versions of the app, right? Okay, now it's kind of confusing. Because they have the same name and the icon. But you can see here different packages that debug and uh, just recycler. Recycler is uh, the release version and it uses the default config application ID which I declared here. And the debug just have a suffix that debug. So that's it uh, that all you need to do to have uh, multiple versions of the app installed. Super simple. The only problem you could get is if you use Google services, which is most likely. Let me show you how it uh, would look like. Okay, so that you'd get with the Google services enabled. You have a .json file inside of uh, the app module. And if you have this file and uh, add uh, this application ID suffix for debug version and try to run your app in debug build, you'll get some error uh, saying that uh, debug package not found something. So what you need to do is uh, make a copy of this file and go to inside of your app module go to src debug create debug if you don't have it and just paste it here all right let's see src debug here it is in the package name variable at dot debug and your original file from f folder move to src main here and that's it now with the google services and uh, different application IDs for debug version and release will work fine and you can have uh, debug release versions installed simultaneously but you still have the same name right name is easy ch to change in the debug res 
create new folder values and here create a new file strings.xml and uh, where your app's name is declared is in here in application label variable referencing to the app name string let's see what it is it's inside of strings let's copy it to just the whole thing recycler debug yep here it is this is the debug version and that's the release also what yeah I like to do is uh, change the icon for debug to make it uh, grayscale black and white you can just uh, copy all those folders right to the debug rest it goes to mip map no right in here and using your favorite image editor make them great all right I'm gonna use uh, Adobe Illustrator I just love this program Let's put it here and the same for the rest of the resolutions okay done now I'm gonna just run my debug version and you're gonna see the different icon right now we have an, our debug icon with in a grayscale so it's more distinguishing and uh, yeah this way you can have debug release versions installed so why is it useful for example you have a debug version you're working on some new features and uh, you want to check the what where you left at the release version right what uh, what's up on the play store for users without this uh, trick you'd have to uninstall the debug and uh, install the release then the same thing uninstall release install debug by having a different application id you you won't need to do that you can have both installed and uh, here's the surprise that i promised so i was uh, thinking about uh, this situation i had many branches like master develop uh, multiple features right and uh, I had some really cool feature branch which I left for a few months and uh, I started discussing like uh, what cool features I wrote in that branch and it it was uh, in the debug version right it never made it to the release uh, so I didn't have it installed it was only on github or you know you'd have to 
compile the APK, build the APK to show where I left with that branch, with those features. So basically, even with this uh, appli debug application ID, you'd have, you'd still have uh, only one debug version available to install, right? And I was thinking, like, how cool would it be if you could have several debug apps installed determined by the Git branch, right? So that, for example, in the debug build master branch, you have dot debug dot master. In debug develop, you have dot debug dot develop. In feature one, you have dot debug dot feature one. And in release, there's just the default application ID, like you would expect, right? So all those uh, suffixes, they only apply for debug versions. And uh, this is easy to do with the just declaring application ID suffix for uh, for different product flavors. So product flavors are not like build types, but uh, you could use them for manu de manually declaring the different branches, right? So each time you change the branch, you'd have to change the product flavor in here. And it's not kind of cool, right? It's not automated. As a software developer, I like everything to be automated as maximum as possible. So, and here we're gonna use uh, some Gradle scripts. If you don't know anything about Gradle, I highly recommend checking out those posts first or uh, after you watch the video. I don't think I have them on YouTube, but uh, Yeah, there is a few posts on Gradle, so I'll link it in the description, go check it out after you watch this video. Right, I'm just gonna revert to the uh, the full uh, build script finished here. So let me show you this uh, function. It's uh, getting the current branch and uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I have two branches, great. Alright, so this function runs the this git command, executes it, takes it as a string, saves it, and returns it. And then the debug application id suffix consists of dot debug dot current branch. So you would uh, use uh, this only if you have git, git instantiated with the several branches, otherwise it's uh, no use. So uh, this feature is uh, only useful for real-life uh, application which you use in production. Alright, so that's for the application ID suffix and of course uh, you'd want to change the application name, right? For uh, different branches. And as you see, the uh, the name really doesn't fit in here. You can barely see the uh, d debug word in here. So I decided to just uh, switch it to the branch name, lowercase, that's it. So here's the change a playable uh, function task that's uh, being called before assemble gradle task what it does is uh, it uh, basically finds the debug strings file this one 
and uh, modifies the app name string value by uh, the current branch, right? So I'm using uh, the Java doc, uh, Java just Java libraries for modifying uh, for working on XML and then saving it. Right, and here it is the develop branch debug version. Let me find it. Yes, here it is. Com uh, my accelerator dot debug dot develop. Cool, right? You can have several debug versions depending on the branch name. So if you if you have some real like production app, that would be useful because like you won't have to. Uh, upload your APK to the cloud and like with the different branches and like keep it or so that for example you're for example you're away from your computer right and you wanna check the the old branch that you were working on like a few months ago and this way you won't have to have it like somewhere on the cloud uploaded or on your phone the the APK of the branch you still have it installed in your phone and all those uh, Gradle scripts you can find in the in the actual post on my site, so you can find it in the description if you're really excited about that. All right, that's it. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Click like if you liked it. Subscribe. Take care.